hello and welcome to my latest video. I'm in Flanders. Yes, Flanders on a cycling trip with my favourite daughter who doesn't want to appear in the video and so won't. But we're going out now and we're going to cycle some of the famous fat bergs of Flanders. So come with me and let's enjoy the ride. Riding along on the first part of the route beside the shoulder, which is a canal. And as you can see, there are boats that fly their way up and down the canal, carrying goods to and from different places. It's a bright, fairly cold day, blue sky, a little bit of sun. Very different from yesterday when we arrived in the driving rain. Well, we were driving in the rain. The rain wasn't driving, I was driving. Misty, foggy, damp, wet. Did you know people in Scotland have 37,000 different words for rain? Come global warming, well, I mean, global warming has already come. We're going to have to get used to that. Global wetting. I call it. So here, the first of our, whoops, good start, isn't it? The first of our Flandrian climbs is possibly one of the most famous, and that's the Mount of Quermont. As you can see, it's a cobbled climb and average is only 4%. I didn't film the start of it. Steepest section is 11%. And I've done this time a few times because I've done the Tour of Flanders three times, I think. All the previous times, of course, we big cheering crowds and now I'm going to make like Pogachard attack. Yes! The KOM is mine. Well, there's two meters anyway. The thing about these climbs is, sorry, just catching my breath there. The thing about these climbs is because they're quite hard. I'm trying to make a video while doing the climb is not that easy. So, you know, Pogachar, he was able to get the KOM because he was putting all his effort into cycling. Whereas I had to split my effort between cycling, shooting a video, trying to think of interesting witty things to say, and that interferes with my ability to beat Public Charles Climb. Public Charles Climb. See, and the other thing, of course, is what I haven't been able to do on previous visits to the outer crown is stop and admire the view and the scenery. So this time I will stop here in the village. Not because I have to. But be fun. So now we set off again. Uh, Pogachar, like me, stopped in the village for a 
a drink of beer, a Fanta, his favourite drink, I believe, and then uh, set off, and still got the KO in. I mean, makes you think, doesn't it? But it's seeing this on a day when there is nobody except me and my favourite daughter on the climb, it's such a strange, well not strange, it's such a different experience from doing it with, uh, you know, thousands of others on the tour of Flanders. Because in a way, you just think, well, you're out for a ride in the countryside. I mean, you know you're on, a, on an iconic climb on these cobbles, but still. Now, where was a bit where Pogacar attacked? I think it was before this bit, actually. I'm a little bit confused now. Um, as you can see, there are crowds of people at the side of the road. Go Jules, they say. Go Jules. You can do it, old man. You, you, you can do it. They seem to have run out of uh, superlatives to describe my cycling performance. But now, now, now what? I don't know. This felt like saying now, I suppose. I'll be silent for a bit. Let you just absorb the cobbles through your buns and your arse like I am. Hammer down there, put the hammer down, picked up, picked up the spanner, the adjustable spanner. Go, Jules! They shout. Go, mate! There, oh, reach the end of the Alder Cremont. That was hard, not as hard as I remember it. You might say, well, you're still huffing and puffing a bit, truly. Well, yes, I am, and why not? So would you be if you were trying to make a video while getting the KOM on the Alder Cremont. Anyway, onwards and upwards or onwards and downwards.